um, and which confirms pretty well everything I've ever spoken about. When I say that the enemy runs this world, that it's his, and the operatives of his um, are people that don't even realize this is why Christ said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. But I can tell you that um, that what we all witnessed, and this isn't just my statement, that there is a hundred people that were there with us witnessing this. There was also the, uh, the Navajo family that owned the property that we rented that was not on the National Park side. Um, the uh, also a witness of the family that lived in the park that we were going to help. That um, that what took place? You know, you've got mm. people trolling other channels and saying, "Oh, well, oh that's film what we're talking First of all, mm-hmm. we're not making a film. Um, we're not making a documentary. We're not profiting, which is what their but that what their requirements are. We're not a profitable venture. Um, we are simply individuals." that are coming there and always have been unmonetized without looking for profit. So we are not exploiting anything. So any of those, I'm putting those out there so you understand that all of that is a fallacy. Anybody that would say that we're out there to exploit and make money off of something, that's nonsense. We were out there to always, always stated to discover the mysteries that these monuments held, um, that we were out there to discover the truth. And to, and to support the native people, native people. However, understand this: that there is a bureaucracy that is involved in these reservations, and in particularly these parks, where the feds um, get involved and they empower tribal people. Now, we were told by the Navajo. This is their words, not mine. We were told by the Navajo there that there is nothing worse than a federally empowered Navajo because they will mow over their own grandmother's house with that power. That's the Agent Smith activity, if you, think, if you understand what I'm saying about that. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, so the reality is we were there. Nobody is armed. Nobody is uh, hostile. Nobody was rude. Never. Everybody was in love. We were very, very cooperative all the time. We did not go into the park, and we even agreed to not go into the park. It didn't matter whether we agreed to go into the park or not. It didn't matter that we were on private property. It didn't matter Look, that Look, they we got were rid peaceful. of that girl, Shoney. They began to build a narrative while we were there. The one that was commenting all that place. shit? Yeah. They, they, and because they, people were I, communicating they with me. They were communicating with me and they let me know that they had been told as families, as residents. Okay, these are residents of the area that we were on. Those residents called me, the owners of the property called me to tell me that they had called. Now, this is after they said, no, you need to vacate entirely. Okay, so they said they kept wanting to get me to come up and talk to them on their territory. Well, I've been around a little while and I had no interest. I mean, because they just said, let's just clear up the misunderstanding here. I said, no, we're not coming into the park. Okay, so we've agreed we're not coming into the park. So as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to talk about anymore. We haven't broken any laws. There is no crime that we've committed. There's nothing happened. We wanted to come and make, you know, uh, and and discover these truths and make videos about our spiritual understanding of the energies that are in the area. If there's hidden mysteries, we would like to find those. And and that and speculating that you know, obviously we've been told that there's spaceships and stuff. Hey, we'd like to. say that, that we were coming to invade their privacy. Well, I don't know how being on a public national park um, that is stated as such is an invasion of anybody's privacy. It's not a national park, right? unless dumbass. It's somehow, uh, unless it's somehow that we're, that we're able to see something that isn't visible to anybody else. We weren't going to violate any other rules. We never had any intentions of that, ever. So, <laughs> it's it's like it's said is... we had agreed to leave Oh, there's the a comment. We were we had agreed to, to not go on that property, and then they contacted us and said, "We need you to vacate the property that you're on." <laughs> they blocked me and out so again. I even agreed you got blocked. To that yeah. Because <laughs> they did. The they they blocked you. Oh. <laughs> wow. Destroyed their livelihood. <laughs> so I said, "Okay, we'll pack up and go." And they said, "Be out of here by sunset." And we agreed. 
Keep talking about gremlins, though. people their religious preferences I'm speaking. and now and here's the whole thing we've left Navajo territory we've left all of the tribal territories that were angry what? so we don't go around asking people their religious minute, preferences we're talking I don't know how many hours it's 7.25 now we oh, left really before sundown <laughs> we're still to this minute That's being insane. followed by state troopers yeah, because that lady that came in, she said that they were going around a, asking people a what bad their religious feeling here were. That when uh, I seen a video from a woman on Tuesday or Wednesday, and she was, you know, showing the scenery of how beautiful it was, and she was talking about how federal agents were at the hotel, they were following her at Monument Valley, and you could see the cars and stuff. Oh look, over that guy's message got deleted showing. too. Well, then when you said that they had closed it down and uh, I had um, discovered through what somebody had sent me um, pictures of someone basically saying that they were from the Global Witness, Derek Bros, Witness in the Desert, and they were talking all this crazy stuff to um, the Hopi Council and just a lot of nutty things. Um, now, he... Now, here's what I've also heard. Okay. So let me interrupt you with this. Okay. I have heard, so 
So whoever has begun to permeate these things, that the Hopi went to them, at least they spoke to somebody that went to them, spoke to somebody. Now, I don't know whether it's one of the people that were drunk out there all the time. I don't know who, right? I've never gone up and spoken to anybody in Hopi territory with the exception of the lady in the museum. And that was always very polite. Never, um, obviously, you, you know, everybody that's listening knows how I speak. Um, they said that, that, that the group that was coming out there, they were told to Hopi that the group that was coming out there were a suicidal group. So wherever they got this, I don't know. That they said that they had spoken to some of us, which isn't true, and that we said that some of us, and now keep in mind, I don't know who they're talking to, and I don't tell people what to say. Everything that I say is done publicly, just like this. I don't have private conversations. This is precisely why I tell people, do not text me. I do not have private conversations with text or email. This does not take place. This type of information is disseminated to everybody at all times and not an individual. So I've never told anybody to go anywhere and do anything. This is about us going to discovery. So if somebody went and said something to them, I didn't tell them to. So I'm just helping you understand that, that that didn't come from us. So this group from Hopi, apparently, that I've been told of it, you know, third hand, mm -hmm. that this Hopi person told the Navajo, um, the, when I say the Navajo, I'm talking the Navajo Ranger Services, is there that you we go. are a suicidal see if it gets cult, deleted. Wow. and that we believe that the world is going to end on uh, on uh, Thursday, or this Thursday, or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> His comment got deleted. Uh, yeah. The point is that all of these narratives, uh -huh. all of these lies are driven. Nobody, not one time, did any of these people have a conversation with me. <laughs> not one time out of all of the invitations, we said to Park Services, hey, come on down to the camp and meet everybody. 